Do you need an easy way to make a full backup of your WordPress website but don't know where to start? Maybe you need to give support access to your website or you want to test out a new design, test some plugins, or apply a new theme but don't want to risk ruining your website. So a backup solution is probably one of the first plugins you should install once your website is live. Now most website hosts will offer a backup service, however speaking from our experience, it's always good to have a backup solution that's remote and automated. Hi, I'm Paul C from Brainstorm Force and I make video tutorials of our products. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we add new videos. So how do we create this backup of our website? We're going to use a free plugin and we're going to go through the step by step process to do that right now. For this video we're going to be using Updraft. Now Updraft has two options, we can have the commercial version where you pay and have extra features. But for this video, we're going to keep it really simple and just use the free plan. So why have we chosen Updraft Plus? Well, it's probably the most popular and reliable backup solution. It's installed on over a million websites and has more than 2,500 five-star reviews. It's important to use a reliable backup solution because if a backup is broken, you lose your website. So how do we use it? First thing we need to do is install the plugin into our WordPress and then we can go through and set that up to start creating backups jumped over into the dashboard now of WordPress and the first thing we're going to need to do is come over to the plugin section and click add new. Once we've done that we can go through and search for the plugin we want. So we come up to the search plugins in the top right and we say updraft. That'll go through and find the updraft plugin for us. There we go, it's the first option so we're going to click install now to let that download and install it into WordPress. Once we've done that we can activate it and start setting up all the different things we need to do to start creating our backups. So let's just click activate. Once that's activated, we can then jump over to the settings. Back into the plugin section of the dashboard. As you can see, Updraft Plus is now installed. So all we need to do now is just go through and set up some basic settings. And we can do that either by choosing settings from the plugin section underneath Updraft Plus, or we can come up to settings on the left hand side and choose the Updraft Plus backup section. Once we've done that, that'll open up all the different sections and you can see we can back up now, we can restore or we can clone or migrate. We also have some different options across the top. The first thing we're going to do is just jump over to the settings section and from here we can go through and say where we want our backups to be placed. So as you can see, we have quite a few different options available on where we can back up to. We have things like Updraft Plus Vault, which you'd need to be subscribing to their service to get access to that. You can use Dropbox, you can use free or a premium version. You could even use email. Now obviously with an email option you have to be careful because your site can get quite large and sending it via email may cause problems. So bear that in mind. We're going to use Dropbox. Now you can set yourself up with a free Dropbox account and it'll give you plenty of storage for most typical websites. So we're going to use a Dropbox account. Now Dropbox gives you two gigabytes free as soon as you sign up and after signing up you can invite friends and get more free storage up to 16 gigabytes. So it's a great option. Or you could use Google Drive, which gives you 15 gigabytes of storage space to use. Once we've done that, we're going to come down and we're going to save the settings. Once we've saved the settings, it's going to go through, check everything's in line. As you can see, it says you've selected a remote storage option, which has an authorization step to complete. In other words, we need to make sure the Dropbox can connect to the website and that everything is talking to each other. So it says follow this link to authorize access to your Dropbox account. So we'll click on that. That will then go through and allow us to authorize our account. So you can see it gives us a little message. We'll say allow. Once we've done that, that should then complete the link and take us back to our website. As you can see, we say complete setup, continue, and we should be good to go. So we've got everything set up and connected. We're now ready to create our first backup. You can see we have these options to backup, to restore, and to clone and migrate. And any existing backups will be displayed in the existing backups tab. So what we're going to do is click on backup now. That's going to give us an option to say what do we want to backup. You can see we can include the database, include any files in the backup, and send this backup to the remote storage. We're going to say yes to all of those. If you want to expand any of these to find out exactly what they're talking about, you can click and it'll show you some more information. We're happy with that. We'll just click on backup now, and that's going to go through the process of starting our backup. So it tells us, okay, you should soon see activity in the log message below, and you can see that's now telling us how far it's got through the process of creating our backup. Once it's done that, it'll create a log file and we can view that if we want to, so it'll show us any errors or any problems, as well as a lot of information about the actual backup process. 
That's now completed. As you can see, we've got the option to download our log file. We can see the last log message. We can also see under the existing backups tab, you can see there's the last backup we've just done. And if we jump over into Dropbox, we can take a look at how it's actually created the file structure and how all the files have been transferred over to Dropbox painlessly and easily. And there we go. There's our Dropbox account. And as you can see, all the various backup files are loaded into that and saved perfectly for us. It's as simple as that. And that's how easy it is to use Updraft Plus to create automated backups of your website straight over to Dropbox or any of the online storage options that are supported by Updraft. While the free version of Updraft Plus is suitable for most users, the paid version offers some great additional features like a gigabyte of free Updraft Vault storage, site migration, automatic backups when updating plugins or themes, multi-site support, and so much more. If you want all this and fantastic support and related benefits, consider purchasing Updraft Plus Premium using the link in the description below. It doesn't cost you any more money, but it helps support our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to comment below. Until next time, take care.